Javed Ansari joins us now from New Delhi. Um, Javed, there's been a lot of uh, criticism of Narendra Modi's handling of the pandemic. Did the government end lockdown measures too soon? Well, the mistake I think the government made was after they ended the lockdown measures, they somehow convinced themselves that this pandemic was over. Once the numbers became started decreasing. COVID appropriate behavior was ignored. The government did not use the period to augment infrastructure, build stocks of medicines, uh, life-saving drugs, oxygen, and also increase the number of beds that were available. Everybody just, just for some strange reason convinced themselves that this problem was over and, and we could get back with life as, as we were used to it in the pre-pandemic years. And now India is in the middle of this huge crisis. What is the government doing to try and rein the cases back in? I mean, current lockdown measures are, have only partially been imposed in the big cities, but not in other areas. Yeah, because they're scared. They're chastened by the experience of the first lockdown because it has a, while a lockdown is maybe a medical necessity, uh, from the economic point of view, it's proved disastrous for India's economy, which contracted by 25% or 24%. So that's why they're wary of, of reinventing the wheel, uh, as we say. But yes, now the government, having failed to augment services, is now desperately seeking assistance, desperately trying to go about providing beds, looking for oxygen, um, getting hold of medicines and injections, life-saving injections that are that many believe are vital or very are crucial in India's attempt to try and save lives. But the biggest, the frightening aspect of this is that uh, the government's experts believe that the worst is yet to come. It will peak in, in a fortnight from now. And what is worse is that this pandemic has now moved to the villages. In, in rural India, the health infrastructure is nothing much to write home about in the best of times. And now with this unprecedented surge, it suddenly seems, it all seems to be coming apart. Right. And yet the government still allowed the Camilla to go ahead. It's still allowing uh, big election rallies to go ahead. Narendra Modi himself attended uh, a big election rally uh, recently. Uh, how damaging is this for the government and its policies? Well, the government has come in for a tremendous amount of criticism, not just from the public, but even the courts. And yes, it's, it's, many believe it's a case, case of absolutely lopsided priorities. Instead of augmenting uh, infrastructure, our leadership spent time in, in, holding, in, in addressing huge rallies attended by, oh, by thousands of people. Religious congregations were allowed. COVID appropriate behavior was given a, a go by and, and, and the prime minister and other senior functionaries of this government were equally complicit in the sense that they were addressing rallies and they did not take the tough calls when it was needed. They, it was within their past to have prevented religious gatherings, but somehow they fought shy of taking these tough, of making these tough calls because perhaps they were afraid of alienating the majority community. Javad Ansari in New Delhi, thank you very much indeed.